A survey of American tourists in Europe was conducted and the following information was gathered. 25 have been to Amsterdam, 27 have been to Berlin, 33 have been to Copenhagen, 16 have been to Amsterdam and Berlin, 17 have been to Amsterdam and Copenhagen, 13 have been to Berlin and Copenhagen, 50 have not been to any of the following three cities, Amsterdam, Berlin and Copenhagen, 76 have been to at most one of the following three cities, Amsterdam, Berlin and Copenhagen. How many tourists have been to Amsterdam but not to Berlin or Copenhagen? How many tourists have been to exactly one of the three cities, Amsterdam, Berlin and Copenhagen? How many tourists have been to exactly two of the three cities, Amsterdam, Berlin and Copenhagen? What we have here are the facts given in the question with a Venn diagram. To me, this is a problem that involves a three-set Venn diagram. Recall that a three-set Venn diagram has exactly eight disjoint or non-overlapping regions that need to be filled out. Exactly eight non-overlapping regions that need to be filled out based on the statements or the facts given in the question. You have to read the statements very carefully and put the number in the right place. For instance, 25 have been to Amsterdam. That means 25 is the sum of these four regions. 27 have been to Berlin. That means 27 should be the sum of these four regions. 33 have been to Copenhagen. 33 should be the sum of these four regions. Now, this is very important to keep that straight. If the question had 25 have been to only Amsterdam or Amsterdam only, however you say it, that 25 would go here. If the question said 27 have been to only Berlin, then this 27 would go here. But the word only is not there, so we have to keep that straight. So let's see if we can use the information given in the question to fill out the Venn diagram. 25 have been to Amsterdam, as mentioned earlier. 25 should go here. I'm going to put parentheses so that you know 25 is the sum of the entire circle. Okay, and let's use blue. 27 have been to Berlin. Twenty-seven should go here. I'm going to put parentheses, and twenty-seven is the sum of these four regions: one, two, three, four. Thirty-three have been to Copenhagen. We're going to put thirty-three here. Thirty-three is the sum of these four regions. Okay. Now this is a challenging problem. Sixteen have been to Amsterdam and Berlin. Sixteen should be the sum of this football. Don't put 16 here. You would put 16 here if the question said 16 have been to only Amsterdam and Berlin. So this whole football should add up to 16. 17 have been to Amsterdam and Copenhagen. This whole football, the two areas inside the football should add up to 17. The two areas inside this football should add up to 13. 15, 50 have not been to any of the following three cities, Amsterdam, Berlin, or Copenhagen. So 50 should clearly go here. Okay, 50. So we have filled in one of the eight regions, the outside of the three circles. We, we are supposed to fill in all eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, it's a good idea to put an, find the number that belongs to this spot. We don't have anything that goes here. If you read it very carefully, the very last statement says 76 have been to at most one of the following three cities. So I have nothing to put in here. I'm going to put, put an X here. Now, if this is X, this has to be 16 minus X. We're going to go over it once again. 16 minus X. Why? Because as we mentioned before, this football should add up to 16. 
if this is x, this has to be 17 minus x. As we mentioned before, well, as we mentioned before, this football should add up to 17, and this football should add up to 13, so this has to be 13 minus x. Now, we're doing pretty good. However, we need to know what goes here, what goes here, what goes here. We're going to do it very carefully, one by one. Let's use green to find out what goes here. We are going to use green color to find out what goes here. Now, note we are claiming this number plus this plus this plus this should add up to 25. Now, these two certainly add up to 17. Okay, so I'm going to take my 20. What goes here? I'm going to take my 25 minus 17, that football, and then I have to subtract 16 minus x and that turns out to be 25 minus 17 is 25 minus 17 is 8 and 8 minus 16 is negative 8 and that x minus 8. Let's double check the math once again. This minus and this minus becomes plus so I have plus x. 25 minus 17 is 8, 8 minus 6, so this is x minus 8, so we are going to claim this is x minus 8. Now you can easily double check. If you add these four numbers or four expressions, you should get 25. x minus 8 plus 16 minus a, x will be positive 8, and these two add up to 17. 17 plus positive 8 is 25. All right. Let's see what we can do here in blue. As before, I'm going to do my work here. What I need to put here is going to be 27 minus this, minus this, minus this. 27, these two together is 13, so I'm going to take 27. I'm going to work, do my work here. I have some room here. 27 minus 13 minus 16 minus x. And that turns out to be, once again, 27 is the sum of all four spots, minus 13, this football, minus 16 minus x, this part of this football. I don't count this twice. And what do I have here? 27 minus 13 is 14, and 14 minus 16 is minus 2, and I get x minus 2. And I'm going to check it once again. Plus x, 27 minus 13 is 14. 14 minus uh, positive 14, 14 minus 16 is minus 2. So this is x minus 2. In a very similar way, we can find this, and we're going to find some room here. This is going to be 33 minus 17 minus 13 minus x. And that turns out to be 33 minus 17 is 16 16 minus 13 is positive 3 x plus 3. Let's put x plus 3 here and we're going to go back and check our math. x plus 3 plus this is 16 and these two add up to 17. 16 plus 17 is 33. Uh, let's check this once again. I don't think I checked this one. This plus this is 14, and this is 13. 14 plus 13. So these is 27. So this is my, now my Venn diagram has all eight spots filled out. I know some of the spots are in terms of x, but I don't have a choice. I didn't have anything to put here. So I have the whole thing in terms of x. What I have here is the same Venn diagram that was in color on the previous slide. I cleaned it up. It's all typed up now and I see all the eight regions filled out and 
these are not one of the regions they just tell me the entire circle should add up to 25 the entire circle should add up to 27 the entire circle should add up to 33 so on and so forth now there is a very important statement in the question that we haven't quite used yet 76 have been to at most one of the following three cities what do we mean by the expression or term at most at most one means one or fewer than one in this context it would be one or zero so at most one country these people have been to exactly one country these people have been to none of the three countries zero countries so I will add all these four things and these four terms should add up to 76 again you want to pause the video here for a couple of minutes if you have to you really want to understand what how how we are using the term at most if I say at most two it would mean two or fewer than two. If I said most one, it would mean one or fewer than one. Here, fewer than one means zero. Here's the algebra. Based on our discussion, we can say x minus eight plus x minus two plus x plus three plus this 50 should be 76. And x plus x plus x is three x. 50 plus three is 53. Minus 10 is 40 plus 43 and 76 and then you subtract 43 from both sides you're gonna get 33 and X is equal to 33 over 3 is equal to 11 so this is 11 so let's write it down here this is 11 and 16 minus 11 is 5 this has to be 5 and 17 minus 11 is 6 this has to be 6 13 minus 11 is 2 this is 2 11 plus 3 is 14. 11 minus 2 is 9. 11 minus 8 is 3. So we have all the numbers that we need for our Venn diagram. Now we are ready to answer the questions that we are supposed to answer, the four or um, several questions that we had that pertain to the Venn diagram. So here we have our Venn diagram with all the numbers in, in the eight spots and everything cleaned up. So let's answer some of our questions or three of our questions that we had to answer. How many tourists have been to Amsterdam but not to Berlin or Copenhagen? I would say the answer has to be three. Three have been to Amsterdam but not to the other two. So I'm going to put three here. Okay. How many tourists have been to exactly one of the three cities this 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 if you add them up that should be your answer 14 plus 3 is 17 17 plus 9 is 26 so the answer to 2 is 26 exactly one how many tourists have been to exactly two of the three cities these guys have been to two of the three cities two of the three cities, two of the three cities. And if you add them all up, you get 11 plus 2, 13. So those are our answers. So what we have here is a parallel problem. I want you to try this problem on your own and double check the answer if you want. The answer is in the, de uh, in the description of the video area below the, this video.